If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over all upcoming Mutt content for the month of November. Now, guys, I'm super excited for this video. I haven't done it in a while. And a lot of people typically do like this video, guys. I'm trying to get back on the three video grind, or at least the two video grind, get back into some swing of things as the seasonal stuff does start to come out. Now, excited to do this video. Like I just mentioned, because the month of November is a fun month for Madden. We have a good amount of stuff to be excited for. And it's like, you know, some months you're just excited for the seasonal promo. There's like, there's a pretty well-rounded month this month for a lot of reasons. That will, it'll, it'll help with the grind, it'll help with content, it'll help with solos, it'll help with a lot of stuff. And I'm going to get into that in just a second. But before we do, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give us a big thumbs up, guys. And of course, if you guys did not see on Twitter already, which if you don't follow me on Twitter, head on down below and follow me there. That's where I do most of my public speaking and interactions, right? So go follow me there. I want to take a quick moment out of the video to introduce you guys to my new favorite daily fantasy app. I've recently partnered with them because I just love it so much. I want to get it out there. I want to promote it for you guys. I love this app. It's not like the typical daily fantasy app that you guys are so accustomed to using with all the complicated numbers and the complicated lines and the complicated lingo it is so simple i like to compare them to apple they make it simple for the user it's pretty much dummy proof and not in a mean way i love that it's dummy proof because it's good for me i can just you can be at the store online trying to buy something and while you're waiting online make a do a pick them you could do a quick pick them player prop in seconds it is so simple to use the apps the, the, the ui is my favorite part the user interface is one of my favorite things i'm really big on user interfaces when a user interface works for me that's my app that is it and it's not like your typical daily fantasy like DraftKings type thing where you have to go ahead and make a whole group of players and typically you have to pick two or three trash players you know aren't going to do well because that's how the salary allows you to do this app lets you pick who you like and for instance my favorite game mode is the pick em. if i know that this thursday jonathan taylor is going to in a smash spot and he's going to kill it i take the over and then as i continue looking through i'm like okay i think carson Wentz is going to throw the under right because that's just kind of how it works you know a running back goes off for a bunch of yards typically the quarterback probably throws the under and on the other side if it's if it's gonna if it's gonna be a game where the jets are behind maybe mike white throws the over if i like the line and there you go i suddenly have a three group player prop where my cash gets multiplied guys and up to five players is what you can do and you can get up to 20 times your money which means you spend 20 bucks on that player prop you can win a ton of money you can win 400 bucks you do 10 dollars, you can win 200 bucks you do five you can win 100 bucks and guys if you use my code poodle while signing up or use my underdog link down below which should include my code although i would still use the code regardless to be safe you get your initial deposit matched up to 100 bucks in bonus cash which pretty much is just free money that means if you deposit 100 you get 100 it's 100 free dollars to play with. You really can't go wrong with that. You can pretty much play at your heart's desire on their money. And I really love that they give you guys that offer with my code. So make sure you guys check it out. If you have any questions about it, hit me up on Twitter. My link will be down below. Comment down below. I will be fully willing to help you out with anything you guys need. So let me know. But let's get back to the video. Let's do need coins. All right. So first things first, guys. Gridiron Forge 3. So that has been pretty much confirmed that we will be getting a Gridiron Forge 3 coming pretty soon. So if we go over to the current Gridiron Forge, right? Earn these rewards before a new forge arrives on 11.5 at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time, guys. Now, I never I never played this specific forge, so I didn't need the player. I wasn't going to use Zeke. I never planned to use Zeke, so it wasn't good for me. I'm hoping the next forge player is much better. Now, JC Jackson, I believe, was an 87. Zeke was a 90, so I'm hoping we get a 93 gridiron forge player here with a more usual player. Problem with Zeke was he wasn't the fastest, and I already had Saquon stuff. I just I just don't like getting halfbacks like that. I, I know I'm not going to be able to use them. Halfbacks are very meta-based, like what you like, and they're constantly changing. Now, if they gave me like a defensive end or cornerback like JC Jackson or a safety, I'd probably use them a bit longer, or even a wide receiver. But a new gridiron forge is coming, and this is what I meant by this is going to be a very well-rounded and diverse month. We're not just going to be getting like, you know, the, like last year, Madden, 20, Madden 21 people were like, you know, the game wasn't that bad. We, they gave us so many cards. Yeah, it was quantity over quality. They were just chucking at a point where we we're like, yeah, cards, cards. And then it got to a point where I was like, hold up, we're just getting cards. They, they, they were like disguising the game of cards. This year, they're doing a lot more to actually, you know, make the user play the game. That's the problem, right? If you're not introducing ways to play the game, the cards aren't that fun if you can't play the game with them, right? So 11.5, that is two days from now. So I was mentioning why I didn't get Zeke. If you guys have not gotten Zeke yet, or you want him, or you just want these free packs, which actually aren't too bad, the Pro Fantasy Pack, the Gridiron Pack, and the Elite Pack, as well as Zeke's Power Up for free. If you want all those things, guys, I recommend you go play that. You have approximately about two days, 48 hours from right now, right? Technically 49 hours, because I'm an hour before, but 48 hours. 
to get this done. Uh, if you do not, you will lose access to it, but there will be another one coming. I'm assuming a 92 or 93 overall for the next one. That'll be the Gridiron Forge 3. So that's super exciting, guys. That is one of the bigger things that I want to cover in terms of start the video, right? Because that is going to be a new solo grind, and people love solo grinds. Give you something to do. Give you something to log on for daily. There's a decent amount of solos here, right? There's first trial all the way through final trial. I imagine some full games throughout there as well. Haven't played this one in quite a while, so I forget kind of, yeah. The, so last one's the full game. So you're looking at one, two, three, four, five full games potentially. So make sure you guys, you know, be ready for that. If you have to play it, play it now. If you uh, don't have to play it, then you're good to go to November 5th. Like I just said, it's two days from now. Next thing, guys. The new Mutt season, Ultimate season. I haven't heard, I, have, I mean, I, I could be wrong. I haven't heard many people talk about this. I'm almost positive the new Ultimate season is coming pretty soon. For a few reasons here, guys. If you recall, the Ultimate season was supposed to be every 90 days. Now, by the way, Ultimate season is super outdated at this point. I mean, in terms of the players you can get, which is part of the why, part of the reason why I haven't really finished the level up grind is because if you didn't get it done in the first few weeks, not, none of this stuff's really usable beyond where I'm at, right? Like, you get the 89 power pass. I mean, 89 overalls aren't really that usable anymore. I mean, already we're kind of we're getting beyond like in terms of God squads, right? Uncommon strategy cards. You're looking at a season one collectible for the Hesto. So it's only a 90, right? And then you're getting the 91 overall Matt Kittle, who's way too slow for this point in the game. So I feel like from where I fell behind in terms of levels at that, like where I started playing like more stuff that wasn't, I stopped focusing strictly on level of grinding. Like playing the game and like actually playing online and doing solos really just doesn't get you up that much. You have to really grind it out. And I didn't. I stopped grinding it out in terms of that and. A lot of it's a little outdated, so I think it was time for a reset, and the, I'm pretty sure, right? So it was supposed to be 90 days for a Season 2 reset. So if we started back in August 12th, August 11th-ish, right, give or take around then, that would leave us at about 30 days to September, 30 there, that's about 60. We're looking at, we're looking like we're nearing, for the most part, 30 to 30 to 30. We're looking like we're nearing the 90-day mark here in November. So at some point in November, I don't know what exact day they'll do it on, if it's going to be an exact 90 but it's looking like sometime in the next two, three weeks, we should be getting an ultimate season reset, which will be super exciting, guys. All of our levels will reset back to zero, which again, restarts the grind. Maybe they'll do it better this time. I think they'll incorporate a lot more ways to get XP than they did the first time. Also, a lot of the ways to get XP is like the most feared objectives, right? But this is dropped months later. When we first got the game, there was no big promo out. So maybe they'll be able to incorporate a lot more XP based grinding things that make it a lot easier. And of course, guys, okay, so if Kiddo was a 91, ultimate season master to start season one you have to imagine we're getting like a 95 96 ultimate season master right or at least a 94 somewhere between that range that'd be really cool the damon harrison would probably be um he'd probably be somewhere let's see what, what level was he at damon harrison limo joseph sorry he was level 40 so you have to imagine that if he was a level if he's at level 40 right let's go back to that Oh, I hate how this thing resets back and forth like that. He's level 40 at 89 overall. You imagine he'll probably, the next one at level 40 will probably be like a 93. And then the season master will probably be like a 94, 95, 96, depending on how they do it. And of course, guys, I mean, you power pass. They'll probably be like a 93 to 94 overall power pass. That's going to mean a lot more coins. It's going to mean a new, a new season guy like Devin Hester and Junior Seau, which will probably go up to like a 93, 94 as well. Guys, going to be a lot of stuff to do. Going to be a lot more excitement back into the game, which is why I'm super excited to really go over stuff like this. And this is just this is just the the, the, the stuff we're going to be getting, right? Gridiron Forge is going to always reset. Open season is going to always reset. This is stuff we're getting. We haven't even talked about the actual November content yet. So let's head into that, guys. We have the most... Uh, oh, most feared. We have the autumn promo which i don't know because sometimes they call it the harvest sometimes it's autumn blast sometimes it's you know thanksgiving promo it could change a little bit this year we're gonna go with autumn blast right so let's head on over to that let's check out all the autumn blast stuff and of course we also have the black friday blitz which is one of the most exciting promos every year and i'm definitely excited to participate in it this year but let's go check that out and see what we're working with for that okay so we have the autumn players here now here's the thing guys the autumn promo was broken into three parts there was autumn aces there was autumn all-stars and as you guys can see here right there was autumn ace autumn, autumn all-stars and autumn blast so we have the autumn aces filter here this one for whatever reason doubled up that was supposed to be autumn blast and then over here we have the autumn all-stars so autumn aces were the 92s in the lower 80s right these are just like pretty much a culmination of a lot of players it wasn't like sometimes there's specific ones right like if you look up uh, filter sometimes like it'll be like a promo but then there was like the most feared players that you got from enraging them right there were like these four separate players it's their own separate thing this is a decent amount of players so for the autumn aces we got 92s now remember the overalls are much higher this year than they were at this point last year so don't take the overalls as an exact science well more like if we have autumn aces again they'll probably more like more or less be 93 94s it's going to be higher it's just going to be it's certain there's no way they're 92s 
So we had Fletcher Cox, Austin Hooper, we had Daniel Hunter, Aaron Jones, Von Miller, Patrick Peterson, Allen Robinson, Brandon Scherf. Now, from my experience, guys, there's really no rhyme or reason for a lot of the Thanksgiving players they pick. The only ones that ever make sense are the ones that are specifically meant for Thanksgiving games. Now, besides that, the rest are kind of just like regularly programmed. Then we had the lower Fletcher Cox, Austin Hooper, Daniel Hunter, Aaron Jones, Von Miller, Pat Pete, Allen Robinson. So if you guys didn't already know, if you didn't play last year, you were able to go ahead and pick one of these 80s and actually power them up all the way to these top cards using collectibles and using training and using all that stuff, right? So um, it's I, I, we're going to get something similar probably. We typically get something like this for one of these promos, and it was, of course, the Thanksgiving one last year. And we haven't gotten one from most fears. I'm assuming we'll get one here again. So you were able to take Patrick Peterson, go ahead, and then go through his stuff. And it's not. It, I don't think the website was updated for this back then, but you were able to go ahead and actually upgrade him from here. This is what his card art looked like. And upgrade him all the way up to his 92, which was a pretty cool way to get a card, right? Next, we had the Autumn Blast. Now, this is going to be the uh, the regular culmination of players. These are going to be the players that drop. You know, the other guys weren't auctionable. Like, these are the auctionable ones that you can just go ahead and pick up, pull from packs. So, we had Night Train Lane. He was one of the masters of the promo. Now, he was actually really good, right? 91 speed, 92 excel. Now, right now, that speed may not seem great to you. But if this was this year, he'd probably have a 93 speed. Not to mention, he gets the zone man threshold, press threshold, and he gets hit power at 91 with a pretty good you know pursuit and catch and everything else guys he's usually a super well-rounded super strong type um box out types uh cornerback which is really cool so we had nitro lane which is oh nitro lane tony Romo, right these are just like some staples of thanksgiving the cowboys lions those are always, like those teams are just thanksgiving staples this car was nothing special in terms of like speed or anything but these were the masters i know cowboys fans including zerk went pretty crazy about that one drew Brees, i believe uh 93 was an ltd yeah Drew Brees is never a special card in Madden just because of the way they build his cards. Harrison Smith. There's always a Harrison Smith in the Harvest promo, guys. And just expect a slow, non-usable Harrison Smith to come out. So these were the top players, right? These were the LTDs. Those were the top two. And then these were some of the other set pieces here. Ryan Kelly, Jordan Poirier, Joe Schobert, Anthony Sherman, Jamison Crowder, Jimmy Smith, and so on and so forth. Expect a lot of these cards, guys. Some good theme team stuff. There's going to be some good budget squad stuff there. And then, guys, we had the Autumn All Stars. Now, the Autumn All Stars is one of my most, one of the most exciting and probably my personal favorite part of the Harvest promo. And that is that there are these players, right, that start off at a certain overall, and based on their Thanksgiving performances, kind of like an over under type thing, they get upgrades, right? But they have to hit the over, similar to the pick 'em, right? So the way it's going to work is this. So Marquise Brown was an Autumn All Star, and they started like 91 overalls. I think this year they last year they started at 91 maybe this year they'll start at 92 so the way it works is they'll have two objectives on their on their card like this 60 plus receiving yards one plus touchdown for every one they for every objective they hit their overall increases permanently by one so pretty much guys it's like an investment you're pretty much buying a marquise brown stock now if you get it for fair price that's cool but there's sometimes people overprice these cards in the beginning if they know they're going to hit them if they're easy but typically you can get marquise brown let's just say for 100k give or take and then when he gets his upgrade, he can go up to 200k if he becomes like a meta receiver. Because sometimes, guys, the way they make these stats, and the EA is funny with this, they'll make Marquise Brown this 93-92 speed card, and he'll be one short of all the catching deep running threshold and stuff. And you're like, wait, if he gets those plus one or two, his speed's going to be the fastest card in the game, and he's going to have all thresholds. So pretty much a lot of these cards are one play away from being a meta card, right? So Hollywood Brown needed 60 receiving yards, which he actually did hit, and one touchdown, which he did hit. So that was exciting. So he got the upgrade. And then, of course, we had Deshaun Watson, who needed 275-plus yards and four touchdowns. He hit actually both of those, which was pretty hard. Four total touchdowns is not exactly a, a common feat in every single game, especially in you know, a primetime Thanksgiving game. Eric Ebron, four receptions, 70 yards. He did not get the 70 yards. He got a 92. And you could see kind of how this all worked out there, right? So kind of expect more of the same. This is one of my, most, this is one of my favorite parts of the Thanksgiving promo. So hopefully they do bring this back. I always love those objective-based approaches. Next, guys, so we have the Autumn Blast again, and then we had uh, we went through that already. So we had the Blitz. The Black Friday Blitz promo is one of the most exciting just overall content drops ever. So if you don't know what that is, pretty much there's like the whole the three-day weekend of Black Friday, right? Mad's going to have its own Black Friday. We're going to get daily special limited time offers throughout the day. Typically, it's like 8 a.m., 12 uh, p.m., then it's like 4 p.m., then it's 8 p.m., then it's midnight, then it gets 4 a.m. again, then it's 8 a.m. You know, like it keeps going on like that. So pretty much you're going to get like, you know, whatever that comes out being 4 a.m., 8 a.m., 12 p.m., 4 p.m., 8 p.m., 12 a.m., 4. Okay, so you're looking at about like six to seven offers per day. Well, offer drops. Six to seven drop periods where they drop like three to four offers. One offer will be simple, like get a Autumn Blast player for half off using what points, get an Autumn Blast pack for half off using coins. Um, one of them will be 
get a limited time legend like some like sometimes like get a full legend for 10 bucks get a get a full legend for five bucks get a 93 94 power pass for 2000 training like they do cool stuff sometimes they'll drop like a, like the centennial packs from a year ago they drop really cool stuff and there's not not just to mention the offers you also get these players they'll drop like 92 josh jacobs and all you need to do is you know use your uh, your blitz tickets that you have and don't forget there's blitz tickets with it which you know blitz to currency typically there's blitz currency and then there's special blitz currency that you get by spending your blitz currency that you can put into the master which last year was cam chancellor this was the blitz master again not as good as our cam chancellor this year but this was last year things are going to be very different this year and then we got the forest buck and then we get a tyreek oh and you usually get some crazy players tyree kill which is a speed demon kyla murray which is a speed demon buddha baker which was really fast as well you got Clowney, you got iu dante jackson was really fast like we usually get some pretty good good players so i'm super excited for that guys if you have any more questions regarding any of this make sure to comment down below Co hit me up on twitter if you guys need any help with this or the sign up with underdog fantasy as well make sure to use code poodle at checkout on underdog fantasy as well as my coin sponsor if you guys have any questions regarding any of that you know making lineups hit me up over on twitter my link will be down below in the description but thank you guys so much for watching i'm out peace